There are a host of companies selling shoes specifically designed for mountain biking. But are they a necessity? In this video, I'll try to answer whether investing in a pair of these is really worth it or something significantly cheaper, like a pair of these, is a viable option. What we are going to cover is as follows. The cost of initial purchase, their walking capability, durability of both options, styling, in case you're into that, and of course, the main aspect, which is how do they stick to the pedals? For the comparison, I'll be using a brand new pair of 510s Freeriders Pro, which are regarded as the best shoes for mountain biking. And I'll be comparing these to a pair of Adidas Terex trekking shoes as a significantly cheaper option. Let's begin. With the cost of living on the rise, many riders are questioning if premium mountain bike shoes are worth the investment over more affordable options. This is especially important for us mountain bikers who love spending our hard-earned cash on shiny new bikes, constantly upgrading to get the latest tech, improved performance and that fresh from the shop feeling. In this video, we'll put both to the test to see if the budget-friendly option can hold its ground on the trails. When it comes to price, the Adidas Terex are a clear winner here. The 510 Pros are built specifically to provide support for rough terrains and durability to withstand the toughest riding conditions. Mountain biking shoes are designed for peak performance on the pedals, but when it comes to walking, they might leave you slipping and sliding. <laughs> Let this clip be the living proof of that. Unlike stiff mountain biking shoes, Adidas Terex offer the perfect blend of comfort and grip for all day walking adventures on and off the trails. Without a shadow of a doubt, Adidas Terex stand out Whoa. as the top choice for scenarios where walking is going to be required. From my experience with another pair that's tackled wet, cold and muddy conditions, 510 Pro shoes are built to endure and will likely outlast the competition. After approximately 18 months of using Adidas Terex for mountain biking, you can definitely see the signs of use and I would question how much more abuse they can take. Mountain biking shoes are built for durability, often outlasting regular outdoor footwear thanks to their reinforced materials and rugged construction designed to withstand intense, varied terrains. The 510 Pros are a true beauty for any mountain biker, blending bulletproof design with a sleek, performance-driven style that stands out on the trails. With their bold, durable build and perfect grip, they're as eye-catching as they are ready for any terrain. There are plenty of styles available from classic plain black to vibrant mosaic-like designs, offering something for every mountain biker's taste. Although style is very subjective, I'm sure that every mountain biker would agree with me that the 510 Pros have an undeniably better look that turns heads on the trails. Mountain biking shoes are designed with extra protection to handle the harsh elements of the trail, including reinforced toe caps and tough outer materials that guard against rock strikes and debris. This added durability and coverage keeps your feet safe from unexpected impacts and sharp obstacles, allowing you to ride confidently on rugged terrain without sacrificing comfort or control. In comparison, the trekking shoes offer very little protection. Numerous times I've caught my foot on stumps, rocks and roots and suffer minor injuries while wearing oh. these. Since switching, I always feel safe about my feet. Having a solid platform to stand on when riding improves comfort, grip and safety. A larger pedal will directly increase the platform size that you have to stand on, but a riding shoe will maximize it due to the rigidity of the sole. A stiff sole which doesn't bend around the pedal will help increase the effective platform size on which you stand on. As you can probably guess, the mountain biking shoe comes out on top in my opinion, proving to be a worthy investment for serious riders seeking safety, durability and performance. Please let me know what is your riding shoe of choice and why down in the comments below. And if you think a riding specific mountain biking shoe is worth the cost. If you found this helpful and want to see more content like this, please like the video and consider subscribing. 